uh, let's talk about something which is completely and utterly and totally safe and effective. In, in fact, entirely in all ways safe and effective. So I'm glad I've got a philosopher on the show with me because I understand there are different forms of of absolute certainty. So there's there's something called a priori knowledge. Yes. And then above that, there is metaphysical certainty. Well, um, I think that, uh, let let me be very brief. Um, They are linked, but metaphysical certainty is a bit of a misnomer because... Well, the definition definition I've got is knowledge that is considered absolutely indilutable and immune to any form of skepticism. The concept is closely associated with the foundation of philosophical inquiry into the nature of reality and existence and knowledge itself. Yeah, you can say certainty. Certainty is a psychological category. Okay, so let's talk talk about... A couple of absolute metaphysical certainties, shall we? Um, One of which, of course, is going to be, uh, and we all know this one, uh, diversity is our strength. I mean, we all know that. That is that is undeniably true. Um, So, look, if your if your daughter experiences an enrichment event and you have to you have to counsel her through it afterwards, if your son is kicked to death in the streets, as happened to that poor German lad. Um, over the weekend, if acid is thrown in your children's face while they're going for a walk with their mum, or your kids are stabbed to death in the street, um, or, or perhaps somebody climbs through their dorm window at university and murders them, we can say at the funeral, well, absolute certainty that diversity is a strength. So, so this is this is this is tenant one. Um, of course, another thing that we know with absolute certainty is that taxes can change the weather. We know, we, yes. It, don't don't laugh, don't laugh. That that that, that, that is absolutely uh, I was true. Coughing, I swear. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, if if we allow the politicians to tax us more and to regulate the farming industry into non-existence, then the weather will get better in the future. So that's another good example. Um, and, and uh, sorry, Dan, how can yeah. you not be metaphysically certain about it? No, I'm saying that is that these are all metaphysical certainties. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and another one, and you're like this one, Callum. I hope you're not a heretic by the end. No, no, Cause no. Because there are some pitchforks and some fire ready to burn. No, I, the, all, all of these are absolute certainties. And you're like this one, Callum. Another absolute certainty is that with tele- technology that we somehow lost 50 years ago, uh, men landed on the moon. And then using um, four 18-volt acid batteries about that big, then sent a live TV broadcast back to Earth. And then after they came back, um, all the footage um, was taped over because, and I quote, and this is the official explanation, magnetic tape is expensive. So anyway, so anyway, there's a whole bunch of things that we know uh, to, for certain are absolutely true, but the one thing we are certain of more than anything else in the world is that a certain thing is safe and effective for everybody. Um, before I talk about that, let's quickly mention, um, uh, Calvin, is, uh, he was too based for GB News, so he's come and joined us on the Lotus Eaters, and he is doing a crusade. Not a crusade as in the form of when you, when you drive the, um, the Muslims out of your territory. It's not, not, not that kind of crusade, but he, but he will be sitting down and taking your video questions. Um, Any subscriber can watch that, but if you would like to submit a question, you need a gold tier account, and we're giving you 50% off for three months, so you can can sign up with the code crusade, so that's important. Right, now, so why why am I talking about the thing that is completely and utterly safe and effective? Well, it all sort of stems from this, you see, so... Um, here is some of the latest polling on the Tories. You mentioned this in your segment, Callum. Um, it's not positive, is it? Not wildly, no. Um, in, in fact, it's... Um, well... A, a, it's, a bloodbath? It, it, it's more than a wipeout, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's at the level of bad for the Tories. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if in 30 years' time the Germans are making weird abstract uh, memorials to the Tories. <laughs> it, it, it is... It is broadly, it is broadly of that level when it comes to wipeouts. <laughs> I haven't crossed a line, have I? No. no, no okay, no. right, right. Anyway, so I enjoy jokes. So anyway, so so it looks like the Tories are facing a monumental, atrocious wipeout, um, and in a desperate attempt to save the sink, the the, the, the sinking ship, um, our unelected Indian midget prime minister has has. <laughs> <laughs> Has had a think oh, true. Has, 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 has had a think to himself, right? And he's thought, right, I saw Vivek doing a load of those town hall meetings. Right? I'm also Indian. Yes. <laughs> well, and, 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 
and, and it, it wasn't just for vape because because the four years before that, Trump he he did a whole load of those town hall meetings, didn't he? All right. And people like Trump, people like the vape. So I'll tell you what. Why don't I turn this picture around uh, by doing my own town hall mil- meeting? Um, like you Wall know, Street bets where he's just like taking the graph, <laughs> turning upside down. <laughs> this will be the future. <laughs> so you know what 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 could possibly go wrong? So anyway, so he did a town hall meeting, and a certain subject came up. Now uh, I'm I'm afraid um, th- we 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 we're going to have to say goodbye to the um, the YouTube viewers. Um, in a moment, because hot for YouTube. Yeah, uh, well, y- yes, because you see, their loss. L- l- let me let me frame it like this: some things are true, and then some things are so true that if you if you say anything against them, um, then you'll be banned off YouTube. They are that true. In, in fact, I'm reminded of that um, Tywin uh, Tyrion Lannister quote. You know, where, where Joffrey cuts out that guy's tongue. And then afterwards, um, Tyrion says to him, um, if, you, if you tear out a man's tongue, you are not proving him a liar. Um, you are only telling the world that you fear what he says. Anyway, but those are the censorship rules on YouTube. So um, anyway, if you want to finish the segment, come join us on lotuseaters.com. You lovely, lovely YouTube people. You're fantastic, but you're going to have to catch us there. Okay, cheerio. Right, now we've got rid of the Utahs. We can carry on with some sensible comments. If you appreciated that episode from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content that's on the site, such as the contemplation series, this episode, and why the political compass twist questions are terrible. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Twitter at lotuseaters underscore com on Twitter. Thank you and goodbye.